we go fam, back to work. It's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet and it's still warm enough to just wear a t-shirt. I am wearing jeans. <sighs> so I'm gonna absolutely be roasting driving home. Another day of like 22, 23 degrees. Um, should be the last day, thankfully. Um, this is raining tomorrow, but yeah. And the office is always so hot as well. So, <laughs> cause people just fight over the air conditioning. And I don't understand people who can work in hot temperatures. Like the temperature is literally set to 24 degrees. Like fucking crank that shit down to 16 and let's get some work done, boys. I ordered a water bottle from Amazon. Uh, because I wanted a bigger water bottle. I don't need to go into this. You know the boss of some like mental gymnastics going on here because they left it in the recycling bin, right? And I, I can open the door to a little thing that says uh, Amazon Logistics inside recycling bin. On top of the recycling bin, there was another one. This one here, um, which had a rock on it to stop it blowing away, uh, which says we left it inside. <laughs> Like, do, is this, does this mean inside the recycling bin? Or is it supposed to be a, if I come along and I pick this up and I go, oh, inside, oh shit, that means they left it in the building, not um, in this recycling box. I'll not need to lift the lid to check. I don't know. God damn it. I predicted it would be a hoot of a day today. Um, I've got the SQL migration sorted, that now works. Um, we're now arguing about the API and or what the microservice is even supposed to do which is always a hoot to do three weeks in I think it's uh, it's gonna be all hammered out tomorrow but it's just been one of them goddamn days at lunchtime I was working on my own project um I think I'm gonna start doing that for a little bit um I'm going to at some point jump back into my sleeping cycle um I'm not doing it this weekend because I've got some shit going on um but I feel like I have, I have a little window of time where I just need to make... The thing is, I have a little window of time where after this window of time, it doesn't really matter how much time I have. So I don't need to multiply my time by sleeping weird. Um, so there's kind of like that in the back of your mind that's like, ah, do you need to, do you need to get into the... go through the pain of getting into the sleeping cycle? Or at least trying to. Um, because at some point it's going to be irrelevant. Um, but... The, on the flip of that, um, because at some point it's not going to be relevant, I should make the most of all the time where it is, you know? I feel like, I don't know. Oh, pretty productive evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have now, um, I'm basically kind of like splitting time between my laptop and Atlas. Uh, I'm, for Atlas, I'm running more of the like heavy microservice stuff that I'm running because my laptop isn't very good at hosting multiple microservices. Um, so like, integrating the front end with the microservices, I need to run at least three, the API Gateway Security Service and whichever microservice it is that I'm using. The laptop just doesn't have enough thread. It also seems to, it doesn't thermal throttle, but it just throttles itself after a while. You have to just shut it down, restart it, then it kicks back up again. But it like starts to throttle at like below a gigahertz. It, feels, it does feel pretty sluggish sometimes. Um, and so I'm working on the uh, Azure function on that, which I have almost finished now. I just need to do, I just need to uh, write the mappers and then write the function itself. <laughs> I'm trying to save that for scenarios where I am not able to work on Atlas. Um, so I've been working on the uh, tail end of the saga, so like what this is going to raise, I'm starting to work on already. Um, before I've even done the front end for all of this, lol, it's feeling pretty productive. Otherwise, I've been talking to Laura about, I've got, I'm planning something, um, and I need to solve some, oh, sorry, I thought I, thought I saw something then. Uh, I need to solve some problems. I've got some hurdles that I need to, to clear. Um, and for that, I think I need to, to grab like, some people's opinions. But the only people I really talk to is Laura. So I'm trying to figure out who those people are. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, some problems to solve, some stuff to think about, um, but anyway, it's bedtime. Somewhat smooth drive in today, but I have not seen that many cars on the road in so long, because it's been like Easter holiday, obviously everyone's been off work and they're not driving their kids to school, and it's just been like quiet, you could just cruise into work in like 20 minutes flat. So today it wasn't like standstill traffic, which I was expecting. 
but you just like there's just car where were all these cars when everyone, how does everyone have enough holiday to take time off all the time i don't understand one thing that's always baffled me is like kids get six week long summer holidays summer holidays on their own and yet we obviously as adults get at best like five weeks holiday throughout the whole year how does that work out obviously i guess you get 50 if there's two of you uh, sorry, 50. Uh, 10 weeks if there's two of you and you have to alternate, but like, dang. At the point now where I've kind of come to the end of where I imagined how this was going to work, I kind of, I've abstractly thought about it, but I've not actually like written it out. And I'm just about to start building out my microservice so that it can carry on kind of working the flow of the data. Um, and it's not working out for me. Uh, because uh, basically I kept being like, oh, but then I need this, then I need this, then I need this, then I need... And I was like trying to start at the top and then tunnel down. But then by the time I tunneled down, I just made loads of assumptions. And it's one of those things where you just kind of need to look it up in advance. Make sure you're not fucking it up. Just a shed load of like services talking to each other. And, and I'm doing a lot of interactions with third parties. So I'm interacting with code stores and storage and databases. And I just need to make sure that I've got the flow of logic in my head set out properly. It appears like I've messed that up. It shouldn't particularly be a problem, particularly, but conceptually, it does that thing doesn't need to be in there. I'm just trying to like pick out a, I feel like what I've done so far is basically like mergeable. Because the next bit is basically like listening to the events that the event hook's given me. Um, but I'm sub I've subscribed to it, but the rest of it is like, and then some, you know? I won't actually be consuming the messages that have come off of that. I feel like I should probably merge, actually. Get it in. Then I can look at this data move, um, where I move where the data is logically on an object. It shouldn't be a too bad then on a set on separately i can carry on with the function and then start spinning out the microservices so this microservice needs to manage the code and then the next microservice is the one that does the work like does the brute force of the work um whether that's and that might not even be a microservice it might be um some aggressive containers it's exciting. what i'm trying to do is not commit myself to too much of this so what i should do is write a list of things that I need to do to make sure that this is mergeable. Get this merged, then focus on this. I know it's good when you uh, have to draw it out on a piece of paper. I've got a flow diagram, I've got database schemas, <laughs> I've got saga schemas. Um, this is interesting stuff. Where is Laura on her route home? Since the temperature has taken a rise as well, um, we haven't had the heating on for so many days. And because we're at work, oh, it's so cheap. It's so cheap, we pay so little on electricity and gas now. I fucking dream this house is a bitch to eat. Uh, it's because uh, we're, we're doing, we're gonna do some work to do it, but um, the basically like, firstly, there's nothing in that chimney because that bloody balloon thing, if you remember that. Um, and also the back of the house is not very well insulated at all. Um, but anyway, that's not either one. I planned out the steps that I need to take to do stuff. I didn't do any of them though. I just got to the point where I'm like, right, okay, here's the list of things we need to do. I need to start updating um, Asana with some new tasks. Um, I think I'm making the correct decision to not forge into this next bit and just kind of pause them. Um, there's like lots of different areas I can do work that I shouldn't be doing as much programming as I am doing. I should be doing other stuff. Um, but I'm enjoying it. And there's like advantages to this as well as disadvantages. So it's just pick your poison, right? Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna merge in my uh, microservice and the API gateway. Um, then I can do the front end and then the microservice and the function all at the same time. Um, and then it's pure back-end microservice work, just like solid, um, until that feature's done, and then it'll be spinning up different microservices for the first time in a goddamn while. Um, but like I say, that's, that's gonna be where it gets really tasty, because we're gonna be building brand new, one brand new microservices to manage this thing, which is what, what's really gonna happen. Um, 
But secondly, new stuff that's going to be spawning shit. It's going to be dope. Um, it's probably going to be dockery. It's exciting. And that's where all the grunt is. It's taken me so long to get past this grunt bit. <laughs> the, the like shit to get me to that. But it's going to be, still be a while as well before I've got everything all hooked up. But once it's hooked up, when it's hooked up, you know. Um, but yeah, like I say, this afternoon I've been playing uh, some Xbox with the boys. Um, finished World War Z. It's a good game, but it's very short. So, there, there's that. What else, man? What else is going on in my life? I don't think anything else. That's it. It's been a chilled out evening. But, um... I'm going to go to bed because, what day is it tomorrow? Thursday. I woke up this morning and I was feeling pretty tired, so I'm going to have an early night. And there's also nothing productive I'm going to get done in the next half hour. Tomorrow, we're going to go back to just working every minute God gives. Living the dream. That seems like a rain, man. Here's the goddamn 20, 129. I've merged, well, I've not merged. I've sorted my API gateway, which is just nice and small. And then the microservice was 129 files. <laughs> I think at some point during that I renamed something. Um, so I think that most of them are probably renames. But it's, God, it's fun. <laughs> you should always code review your own stuff. Because you, especially if you've been working on it a long time. Because you always forget stuff. You're always like, oh, I'm going to come back to that in a minute. And you never do. So you should always code review your own stuff. Somehow I had to do it work as well. Because uh, I've finished code wise. I'm code complete in Mongo. <laughs> the caveat. Service works fully, 100% using MongoDB um, for the MVP that they want and is also ready for everything else. They're adding more features. It's one of the things with microservices. Spinning up a microservice to start with just takes forever. It just takes a long ass time, especially if you haven't got a deployment pipeline. If you, like, don't be wrong, if you're spinning up 10 microservices, the 10th microservice will be really quick to spin up compared to the first one, but it's still comparatively a long time. But as soon as you've got it, you can just fucking iterate like lightning, and I'll be able to just iterate 10 times quicker than everyone else will on all of their old janky ass <laughs> architecture stuff. Yeah, so I, I raised a PR for that, and I was like, I don't think anyone cares about this, um, because the microservice isn't MVP, isn't in the current MVP because uh, we can't deploy it in time. It's code complete, but, <laughs> but we can't deploy it in time. It's literally MVP plus, and it's still... I fucking hate calling things MVP code plus as well, because that's not how things work. <laughs> it's very milestone-y. Um, but uh, yeah, it's literally like way beyond what you guys need it to do. Because I've had so much time while we've been trying to do deployments, so I'm just churning away. I mean, it supports three fucking databases. <laughs> it supports, semi-supports uh, SQL Server and semi-supports MySQL. Um, it just doesn't, it doesn't do everything that Mongo does because that's been on a branch that's been isolated from everyone else. Yeah, man. I've got automation tests, the fucking lot, it's great. Um, but yeah, that's a huge PR that I chucked up and uh, I've been looking through that myself as well. I'm trying to rush it through so that we can get it into the deployments rather than me finesse it a bit. There's a couple of places where I've cut corners. Um, but yeah, so either way, what I'm trying to say is I'm looking forward to 130 uh, page long, uh, 130 files of fucking edit edits. So it's gonna be a hoop. This says here, I'm, back, I'm cooking something. Uh, red coconut curry pot soup. There's 250 grams of cooked rice. I'm assuming rice gets heavier when it's been cooked. Because that is a lot for two people. And we normally do 150 grams for two. 250. I forgot to end my vlog last night, but today I'm taking a bit of a gamble on the weather. I, the weather forecast is like rain, heavy rain all morning, all afternoon, all evening. Being said, I really don't see that happening. So <laughs> I'm walking all the way in from the park and ride. I'm going in um, to the city centre after work to meet up with an old work friend. Um, I'm going to go for drinks and some food gonna be delish um, so I need some kind of like hybrid of being able to get to work but then also back to the car from the city center and I almost wore I'm not wearing Converse I'm wearing my my wet weather shoes my batteries low and the plan being well what I was gonna do was wear my Converse and skateboarding but I bottled it and went for the last minute went for these in theory I can walk into the city center and still get there before he finishes work um, so if the weather's nice that's what I'll do um, but if not then I can walk back to the car get a little bit wet <laughs> and then uh, bus in. Day, Friday, day today, Fridays are deploy days. Um, my plan is merge the code I currently have into the develop branch and then I've got to rebase 
this other branch, which is quite an old branch now, um, which is all the deployment. Past couple of weeks, I've been like halving my time more or less, um, and kind of trying to keep the deployment people happy. But now I can focus on it fully, and that means I don't have to make them happy anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to try and simplify what they've done um, and make it better, and get it in the cloud because it's not in the cloud yet. It doesn't work in the cloud, um, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like me changing it doesn't change, doesn't make it less work. You know, already doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, I feel like we're both doing new stuff, but this is going to be really new for me. We'll see if I can uh, dabble in, get better, do my thing, you know, which is what I normally do. Pick up something new, excel. <laughs> I have an ability to turn my attention to something and then just make it mine. <laughs> um, rather than other people who generally have like quite a broad knowledge of stuff. I stay out of stuff until I just like, right, I want to know that now. And then I master it. <laughs> we are not risking the rain, we're going for the bus. Um, interesting day today working with Docker, trying to get it working properly. I spent half my day rebasing because I was a bitch. I was basically at the point where I was maintaining two branches, so I'm obviously going to merge conflict when I have to merge them together. I started looking at all of the configuration stuff. The bit that makes me queasy is the environment files. I don't like those um, at all. <laughs> I, I think environment variables should effectively just be used to tell you which environment you're in and then the app goes off and gets its own secrets from a configuration server of some kind, um, i.e. as your key vault in the real world or some of the cheap ass variant in non-Azure world. As I was looking at implementation stuff for that, the DevOps guy that I'm working with, who's not DevOps guy, he's an operations guy, um, he's like, it's really annoying spending a load of time on .NET stuff which I can put up in like half a day in Java or Node. And I'm like, mate, I could blast this into Azure in 30 seconds flat if I had credentials. <laughs> Literally one click button from Visual Studio. You want it with a CI CD pipeline, five minutes flat. Like, it's trivial. This isn't .NET. That's the fault. The fault is that you're approaching it like it's Java and it's not Java. You can't just assume it all works the same. Like, so, this is something else I've noticed as well. So many times, and I think it's because C Sharp is well known for being a Windows programming language for the longest time. Um, so many times you made comments about, have you made it so that it's cross-platform? I'm like, yeah, just do this and it'll run on your Linux machine, mate. And it runs on their Macs, I've tried it, <laughs> it's fine. Um, and it's only the people who make comments like that, that never, ever support Windows. <laughs> they, like all of the build script he's got, only work on Linux. And I'm like, come on, everything I've done so far supports both. I don't even have a Mac, but I've been making it work so it works on a Mac, and then when I came to give it to you, you just click run and it run. But all the stuff you've done, I'm now translating into PowerShell, or whatever. Um, it's a pain in the ass. I should qualify, it's not a pain in the ass if the people who do that don't make a noise about Windows people not doing it for them. Yeah, it's a two-way street, boy. <laughs> Boot-up instructions for my app are incredible. Like, if you want to do it for Visual Studio, here's how you do it. If you want to do it with Visual Studio Code, here's how you do it, with the debugger attached. If you want to do it from the command line on either of your operating systems, here's how you do it. If you want to do it from Docker, here's how you do it. And all of his stuff is just not that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. So I've basically, I've spent my entire afternoon translating all his stuff into my stuff so that I can run it. <sighs> or I have to use the Ubuntu subsystem on Windows which doesn't have all the stuff I need installed on it. So I was just like, I can't be asked to set that up because then it's just gonna be even worse for all other fucking Windows guys, so it's fun. But we should get there. We're close. I think I'm getting closer to the, I think also conceptually what he's designed hasn't really, isn't the way people work. Like RabbitMQ is inside the pods and it shouldn't be inside that pod because it's used to talk to other pods. So I like, conceptually, there's some things I'm trying to break out. Um, credentials being one, rabbit being the other. And that's not how, what I want locally is you literally, however you run it, whether you run it in development, on a test server or in prod, you run it the same. So the same command that boots it up in dev is the exact same in there. The location of the database is the same. The location of the message bus is the same. Like, I don't want any differences. The three things that I'm gonna have to get changed. 
and I just need to figure out how to do that because I'm in a world where I have significantly less power <laughs> than the, the world that I'm currently in where I'm uh, literally a solo .NET developer and I can do whatever the fuck I want <laughs> say that with caveats low level I can do whatever the hell I want but high level I get a load of aggro but I get it done anyway because I'm right as per I'm trying to figure out why I didn't leave my bag in the car I'm just gonna lose it aren't I? I stayed in the restaurant a little bit long and I missed the last bus to the park and ride so I'm about to say it's not that far but it is 15 minutes really fast on a longboard um so it is a bit far <laughs> but I'm going more or less direct though so uh, it took me about a half hour walk and that's if i really pace it argos is about halfway between my old work and my new work ah shit and then there's another bit after that to get to the park and ride itself <sighs> it's good for you it's good exercise i'm gonna have a long long time tomorrow cooped up so need to get exercising i've got a lot to think about as well it's really good chat um, with Gary, he's a really good lad, uh, tester from my old place. Interestingly, before he got into uh, testing, I had a background in sales. So, a lot to mull over there. But if Laura knew I was walking to the park and ride and not Ubering, if I told her, or if she tracked me on Google and watched me doing this, she would be pissed. So don't tell her. This is one of the things where she's like, just get an Uber. I'm like, it's six to nine pounds to, to go a 30 minute walk maybe 45 minutes if you're slow. 45 minute walk isn't worth six pounds. That's how I save so much goddamn money. <laughs> and it's not like getting home earlier is gonna, I can use that time for anything, you know? I'm just gonna go to bed. So I've got an early start tomorrow. So I may as well enjoy this lovely evening. Is that on the lens or on the screen? It's on the screen, okay, cool. Google had this down as a 45 minute walk. I just fucking creamed it in like less than half an hour. Come on, Google, miss me with that bullshit. The real thing now though, is can I get the car out of the park and ride? Do they lock that up overnight? I don't think they do, but they might. The house there has a Christmas tree light up. Just in time too, fam, because it's about to hammer it down. My Lord. All oh, the lights are off. I climbed over the fence to get in. So I'm, there is a chance I drive over here and there's a barrier in the way. What are the odds? We're all good boys, panic over. It's not a good time to start recording because I need to change gear and steer at the same time. My God, I ain't seen rain like this in ages, especially not, I've not driven in rain like this in ages anyway. I've got a long ass day tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I need to catch up on videos because I've got too much footage on my camera. Um, I need to prep a load of stuff. I need to put a load of things on charge before I go to bed. I'll catch you later.